Ever get that feeling where you haven't seen one of your favorite YouTubers in a while and you're like, wait a minute, what happened to that guy? Totally. That's Duff, the no skill zombie writer. Yeah. He went dark for like three months, 14,000 subscribers just hanging. Which for him is crazy because this is a guy, 2,000 videos. I know, right? Like... He is a content machine. Yeah, usually he'll at least pop in and be like, hey, I'm still alive working on stuff. Right. So he finally comes back, does a live stream. Of course, we had to check it out. Of course. And it is not your typical, hey, I'm back stream. No. He's got his No Skill Zombie Rider shirt on, by the way, which he designed. Oh, really? Yeah, he designed it himself. That's cool. But you can tell something's different. Yeah. He is not his usual chipper self. Yeah. You can tell he's been big. He basically admits right off the bat, I've been buried. Yeah. Just life stuff. You know how it is. Yeah. Just slam. He's like, I was catching up on my drinking in Florida. He did say that. Yeah. But you can tell it was more than just like a little break. Oh, yeah. He was running on fumes. Yeah. You could tell it was serious. Yeah. And it just goes to show, even for these EUC legends, like Duff. Right. They got a life outside YouTube, and sometimes life throws you a curveball. It happens to the best of us. Yeah. So once he's back, you know, back in the swing of things. Right. He gets into the meat of it, the new EUCs. Of course. That's what we're all here for, right? That's what everybody wants to know. Yeah. And there's a lot to get to. Yeah. Like a lot of new stuff coming out. A lot of new stuff. Uh, He was not a fan of the Beagode EX20, like aesthetically. I saw that. Just like really not digging the design. Yeah, yeah, some of those designs are a little out there. Yeah, but you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Sure. For sure. But the ones that really got attention were the Bigode Blitz, the Extreme Bull Griffin, and then of course yeah. the King Song S22 and F22. Right. Those are like the big ones that everybody was waiting for. Yeah, a lot of hype. Yeah. Leading up to it. So the F22, this is where it gets interesting. Well, oh. four corner suspension. Yeah. That's different that's pretty unique and duff even said you know he's ridden everything right he's got his hands on just about everything he's like this is really something else wow so high praise yeah he even compared it to the bigode blitz which is you know that mid-mount suspension right more typical oh, more standard one yeah right so it's interesting to see the different approaches for sure yeah but yeah. then he drops kind of a bomb oh no what is it he starts talking about quality control issues oh boy loose bolts on the blitz right out of the box. See, that's not what you want to hear. No, especially yeah. when you're talking about- Especially with these things. Like self-balancing, yeah. high that power. Yeah. yeah, and it gets even worse. Oh no. Marty, another EUC writer, had charging issues with his blitz. Oh no, and then- So it's not just a one-off thing. Yeah, and then there's the EQ Max. Okay. Duff straight up calls their battery problems like a major red flag. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah, you could tell he was not messing around. No. He's like, stay away. Yeah, when you're talking about batteries, you don't want to mess around. <laughs> no, we've all seen the videos. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, nobody wants their EUC to go up in flames. Yeah, that's the thing. And these things are expensive. Oh, yeah, thousands of dollars. It's not like you're buying, you know, right. a little toy. Right, you're putting a lot of trust in these companies. Exactly. And it's not just ET Max. He even calls out Kingsong. Really? He's like even King Song, which you know was like the gold standard. Yeah, for the longest time. He's like they've been slipping lately. Wow. And he was basically admitting I've been writing other brands more because I'm worried about King Song's quality. Yeah, that's huge. I know that's a big deal for Duff to say that. That's yeah. And then you talk about throwing a curveball. Okay. The E20. Oh boy, the E20. What is going on with that? This thing is like the, uh, I don't know if it's the elephant in the room or the 800 pound gorilla. Yeah. The E20. Yeah. Two wheeled EUC. Yeah. Marketed for beginners. Yeah. You know, and the community is kind of torn on that. Yeah. Some people think it's like a gateway drug. Yeah. You know, get them on the E20, they'll transition to one wheel. Duff kind of seemed like he was in the camp. Yeah. He's surprisingly okay with it. Yeah. Which I guess for Duff isn't that surprising. True. He just wants people riding. Yeah, he doesn't care how you get there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But then you have people like Dale. Oh, yeah. Who are like, that is an embarrassment. Straight up. Yeah. And then you have Marty who's like, you even mentioned the E20 in my chat, you're banned. <laughs> yeah. So me feel pretty strongly about it. Strong reactions, for sure. Yeah. And it is interesting, right? Because it's like, what is the line right. between gatekeeping and welcoming new people. All right, where does that line exist? And I don't know if there's an answer. It's more just interesting to see it play out. Yeah, it's fascinating to see how people react. Yeah. And Duff, even with his whole, 
you know, no skill zombie writer. Yeah. It's like he understands both sides of it. Yeah. And speaking of no skill zombie writer, Uh-oh. it kind of takes on a whole new meaning when you think about the inherent risks right. of writing these things. Of course. Because he actually brought up a story about a writer named Dakota Bell who passed away. Yes, very sad story. It was really sad. And it's like a reminder, you know, you see these amazing videos, yes. people doing crazy stuff. Yeah, what's so fun? It's easy to get caught up in that, but what? it's serious business. Yeah, you can get hurt. Yeah. You gotta be careful. Yeah. So that was a really, you know, sobering moment in the whole thing. Absolutely. But yeah, I mean, Tuff even acknowledges that he's like, you gotta wear your gear, you gotta be safe. Yep. You know, all that stuff. He's smart about it. Which is cool to hear him say it because it adds another layer to the whole, like, you know, right. no skill zombie writer. It's not just a gimmick. He really means it. He's not just being edgy. He's like, right. I've seen what can happen. Be careful. Yeah, for sure. But uh, speaking of surprises, did you catch the part about his little side hustle? Wait, what was this? The, the photo booth. The photo booth. Yeah. Vibe booths. I thought that was so funny. I was like, what? This whole time <laughs> running a photo booth business. Secretly a businessman? I know. Ten years he's been doing it. That's wild. Started in his garage, sold one on eBay, and then just kept going. That's awesome. It's a great story. Good for him. Yeah. So, I mean, the whole live stream was really interesting. Yeah. Just to get a glimpse into his life. and You never know what you're going to get when you tune into one of his streams. It's true. And I think that's what keeps people coming back. Yeah. That you know, it's just like, what's Duff going to say next? Exactly. That's what makes it fun. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good one. It was a really good one. And hopefully he's back. Yeah. Fingers crossed. More content soon. Yeah. We need more Duff. We do need more Duff. Absolutely. So there you have it, folks. There it is. Another deep dive into the world of EUCs and beyond. And beyond. We'll catch you next time.